Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil from Gen Tea. And I'm Jen. At Gen Tea, we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. Uh, today, we're gonna taste uh, aged the Shimpur 2004. It's originated nice. from the Ilong Mountains in Yunnan province. Um, let's dive in. Oh, hang on, just before we dive in, if you're new to here or if you haven't already, be sure to click that subscribe button so, button so you'll know whenever we put up a new video or go live. And stick around to the end and if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Okay. I don't know why I smell the serving pot. <laughs> Make sure it's clean. Was it? Yeah, it's clean. Good. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous whenever we taste, uh, well, basically the, how nervous I am when I'm tasting a tea for the website is directly proportional to how good the tea is because it's incredibly hard sometimes to describe really good teas. Now, I don't know what I'm getting into here, so let's just wait and see, calm down. Mm -hmm. But I thought I would disclose that if I seem a little nervous, it's because I am. Oh boy. Mm hmm Very subdued. Right. A little hint of uh, smokiness. And a little something I can't quite put my finger on, but I'm sure once we rinse it, it'll come out a bit more. Mmm. Yeah, it does have that uh, gentle smokiness. Really like, gentle though. Oh, it reminds me of the hand. <laughs> it does the, smell the meaty. Ham. No, it does smell meaty. Right, it has that. You're right. It's a meatiness that. Like the, the smoked meat kind yeah, of. Yeah, I was reserving that for the rinse. We'll see how oh, it manifests okay. when we rinse it. No, I, I noticed something. I just couldn't put my finger on it, but I think that's what it was. Different. Mm, it is different. Especially oh when we uh, just did the other uh, 2003, 2004. 2004, that the 2004. But that Yiwu was from the, the location is different. Yeah. You can really, so far, you can tell the quite different, even though the year yes. is really similar. Mm, wet leaf this is interesting. The wet leaf. Still had a bit of that umami, mm -hmm. less of the smokiness. Oh, you want to smell? Oh, no, it's okay. Can go a little bit more. Foggy. <laughs> It kind of tastes. It doesn't note. taste foggy. It was not a tasting note. That was what happened to my glasses. Liquor is quite dark right out of the gate. Mm. Say not like a nice amber. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Wow. Wow, I'm getting some bamboo. Mm. Definitely has the jungle. Definitely has some jungle in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, much more. Smell this guy. I gotta get some it's, notes. Uh, right. It's. Uh, mm, that's a meaty bottom. It's meaty, but it's. Uh, it also have that light plant. Aroma, not necessarily veggie, just any of that uh, light mm. plants, mm. like bamboo leaf, the fresh bamboo leaf after rain, that kind of thing. Mm. Not as uh, you would think poor, that kind of uh, 
barnyard, that kind of smell, not. Yeah, it doesn't have that sweaty, musky no. that uh, Puar mm. often has. Well, especially now that it's cooled a bit. Oh, really? Bamboo and it's a fresh bamboo, not dried like a yellow, like mm -hmm. the bamboo surface. Thing. Yes. Yeah, you're right to distinguish yeah. that it's a fresh bamboo. I'm going to capture right. that. That's really important because it's not like it's not like um, Liu Bao, which is aged in bamboo. It doesn't have that sort of aged bamboo. Mm, it's more of like a, some dried but in a wet bamboo smell. But this is a fresh. Like I would imagine in green kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> like so far, the smell and stuff is quite different. Compared to a lot of more common shenpuar, aged mm. shenpuar, yeah, very unique aromas, and I have to say the flavor. My first tasting note. Oh. Kaboom. Mm. <laughs> Kaboom. I'll see if I can do those a cartoon effect. Oh wow. Got some it's fruit. Still, it still has that I Lao Shan flavor. If that's the I Lao Shan flavor, Wo I I Lao Shan. Like oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I love I Lao Shan. That is really nice. Oh, this also. So not. <laughs> it's bad, but it's so not poor. It's an interesting. It's right? got a coffee boldness and even some of those really earthy coffee elements but still has some distinct fruitiness and sweetness is very uh, confusing and delicious <laughs> oh wow mm. wow i don't want to say it's not overly sweet but it has those and it has a little bitter edge oh, as yeah. well to kind of balance things off and gave out mm. that I'm still poor kind mm. of thing. Oh yeah, definitely, know? definitely has that boldness, that uh, slight bitterness. That's a good one. It, and the weird thing is how this boldness is displayed is really different than how a shen poor when we say bold. Yes, this is you know not. What I'm saying? It's not sharp at all. This is I, I put with mm. the bitterness that it's a rounding bitterness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really rounds this tea out. Yeah. It ha it really jumps out in your mouth. It comes to life right away, but not in that sort of um, um, sharp um, grabbing for attention way that shampooers sometimes can do. And you know, a young shem will do. This is really mm. big and full in terms of the flavor profile. Um, I still can't quite mm. describe if it's a, it's not quite the typical date sweetness we get no. in a, in a shu puar either, but it does have some kind of elusive sweetness that I'm struggling to describe. I have to say, this is quite different than any of our collections, mm. like uh, on the website, like if you are familiar with our puar collections, this would mm. really jump out in terms of as a shen puar. Yeah. You know, yeah, aged is, or not aged, the yeah, whole absolutely. different, uh, Tasting experience. Wow. So I love mountains. Is a mountain range in the mid, like Yunnan Air Province. It's in the middle part of it. Uh, it's not the big name, the famous name, but it's quite unique. I would say it's quite in terms oh, of the tasting profile. Definitely agree on the unique. And something you notice when you are breaking this cake that the color is deeper than a lot of things. Yeah, the a leaf color. color for its age. Yeah. It was, it's very red, very red brown, deep. Yeah. The, uh, that's the one of the signature look of the uh, uh, poor from Ilao Mountains. They're, they tend to be darker color, even when they're freshly made, like when they're really young, first year. Uh, they have the darker color and they have that uh, little bitterness mm. that um, I have to say, when they're really young and fresh, I didn't like that. Because uh, I previously, years ago, this has really stuck to me because it was a, such a unique experience. I did Ai Lao Shan uh, side by side. One is a fresh young, and another one is like a, uh, around uh, 2000, around this year. Mm -hmm. So when I did that comparison, I really feel the difference in terms of how 
how they taste yeah. and the, how the bitterness is transformed. Mm. That must have been yeah. really um, powerful to taste the uh, young one and the old one. Yeah. And get a I feel didn't for. Like the young one because that right. was a. I'm I'm not a big fan of a bitterness, but this one. But it is, informed you about the transformation. Yes, and mm. once it's aged, it's different. Mm. Yeah, this is very. It's, a very interesting. Um, I wrote down salt prune, which I don't know if is right, but I'm really struggling because there's this, mm. there's this hint. This tea has got a strong savoriness, yes. strong umami, but mm. but it still has a sweetness that I can still see it back there. So that's why I right? wrote, I don't know. So I gentle sweet with good umami, mm. like really stop the salt. And when you umami. say like umami. Mm, what I'm I trying think to say is savory better. is better mm. It, mm. because the reason being maybe it's just me that uh, sometimes you talk about umami, I would think about uh, seaweed. Or, yeah, no, it doesn't have fishiness about, at all. Uh, no, you're right. No, quite a really fishy, but that kind of ocean, yep, yep. ocean style of tasting notes, which I didn't get from this. No, I just want to say to, like. Uh, if you see umami and taste in notes in some of our dark teas, like Qianliang Cha or Tian, I think Qianliang Cha and uh, Tian uh, uh, Fu Zhuan, I, mm. I feel have more of those. Tianjian later infusions also have those mm. kind of umami, mm. a little bit seaweedy notes, but those are totally different from this one. Even mm. though we might have like expressed that in the same word umami, but it's yeah. like I think it's, the savory really umami is kind of really good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why more sometimes more words is better, <laughs> so you can kind of home in on. Well, that's why this kind of video I think is really good because on the website when we see those notes, it's the one word, right? We cannot have a lengthy. <laughs> explanation mm. about what kind of a umami we're talking about. I was right to be nervous though. This is really hard to describe. Really, yes. really. Uh, yes. Again, it's integrated. It's got all kinds of stuff happening. I still... I'm still happy that I don't have to <laughs> do the write-up. I just have to contribute with my thoughts. I don't know how oh, to put it. Oh, it's very helpful. Word. I think... I still feel like that that's gentle bitterness is best described as a sort of coffee parallel. It's a very interesting, mm. but for me, it has that um, reminiscent of, okay? This doesn't taste like coffee, but it has mm. that, it's that kind of bitterness that works in the liquor. Something very different. What's going on there? It's almost medicinal. Yes. Yeah. Right? Almost it's an herbal like medicinal. Herbal medicinal. A lot of times I found that even with the aged poir, I smell the warm lead or hot lead. It's mostly poir smell, you know? Let me explain medicinal too for, for folks right. who aren't on the same page as, oh, as right. maybe we are. It's more like an herbal, tra traditional Chinese medicine kind of herbal medicinal. So we're talking about those realm of medicine. Mm. It doesn't smell like, a, like a, I don't know what other yeah, medicinal. Yeah. For me, that's what we mean. Oh yeah, yeah. By medicinal, medicinal it's not it's an at herbal. All. <laughs> yeah, it's not Advil or Tylenol. Yeah. It's more of a like a herbal medicinal, and it's a, oh. not sweet though. Sometimes the little smell that's deep, the deep in the leaves. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's just taking you right to the, right to the forest. <laughs> yes. I don't know. This is the smell, a uh, smell that really reminds me of uh, being in Yunnan. Mm. That humid warmth with that mixed wood, like those tropical forest smell. Wood and forest floor, a little bit. And of... a storm, and a storm. Yeah, yeah. It has that post storm because of... everything's wet. Yes, when we go up the T mountain in the really wet settings. Oh yeah. That, that kind great. of a smell. Yeah, and the you know, and there's stuff rotting in the forest floor. There's fresh leaves all around. There's a a breeze. Remember that cool breeze? Mm. Yeah, that kind of a woodiness. Like again, very likely end up on the website because we have the caption of just the highlights of notes, which we would use woodiness. I think of this, I would just 
simplify it as woodiness, but mm. I'm glad in this video I can give you yes. what it really presents in my eyes when I'm tasting this tea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so much more than just woodiness and somebody might think cedar, somebody might think fresh pine or maybe or right? hardwood, but it's really that jungle forest woody. And we put uh, a bossy yeah. amount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put a pretty good chunk from the cake in here. Mm -hmm. Mm. All right. Mm. Only in this really hot dry wine, I sense a little bit of that starchy sweetness. Oh, interesting. And the starchy sweetness a little bit to the raw side. Almost have that tin greenness, but not quite. Huh. But it's like, it reminds me of what I said about a vegetal uh, starchiness. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Kind of like a, like a freshly cut, like a freshly cut sort of potato kind of. A really silky mouthfeel. Yeah, really viscous silky. too. Huh? I'm starting mm -hmm. to, I, I've made a, a mental note for the third infusion. I'm going to really home in on the mouthfeel, but even at the end of that, I think we're coming on to the third. Mm. I might be off. Mm. But even the end of the second infusion was really viscous, but I'm going to really home in on that right, right, right. for the next sip. Oh, I love this. I really love like, I keep saying bitterness. I hope you don't take that as straight mm. up a negative as somebody like me who actually don't like anything bitter. I wouldn't like it. But this bitterness I like because it's a gentle tap and quickly transfer to something and it lingers as a really... Yeah, I, I was going to comment on the lingering nature. You know, gentle, not quite floral. Like imagine those a flower, you don't know what it is. It's not sweet, it's light, it's faint, but it's there mm. and refreshing with a little bit That was bit the word teasing. I was going for. It, right? it, it lingers in a way that is refreshing. It keeps, that this whole flavor is still in my mouth. Mm. The flavor is still in my mouth. I just close really my mouth unique. and breathe over it. This and is really unique. Yeah. I also have a, when this, uh, I think I'm still on the second infusion. I haven't poured the third infusion yet, which is here. Uh, the temperature, when the temperature went down a bit in my liquor, it's actually a little bit tart. Mm -hmm. Just a hint of, oh, yes. you have that oh, too? Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, I was almost afraid to write it because I was like, is that right? But now that you say it, I'm going to... I'm capture that. <laughs> right. It actually it, it combines it. Well, you know, sometimes you're not sure if you're if you're tasting it, and then when somebody else confirms, it's like, oh, that was it, and it's kind of bound up with the with the bitterness. I'm really looking forward to the third infusion. Mm. So another problem with really fantastic <laughs> teas is they tend to be, at least for me, super calming. But I have to say, I am really yeah. stoked, excited, freaked out by this tea. I think if I grab that, that's gonna yeah. fall. Just really the, just a really unique mm. aged shampoo. I've never had anything like this. Right, me too, I think. I just wanna mention that the aroma of this mm. tea is overall quite a subdued. What do you think? Like. Yeah, it's a real flavor the, tea. Yeah. It's a real, it's, there's nothing subdued about what's going on on your taste buds in your mouth. And when you breathe over it, there's mm. aroma, but it's not a booming aroma. The liquor, the leaf, the leaf has that jungle we talked about, but it's not booming. It's not, but the flavor in the mouth is just expansive. It's gigantic, right. full. And I found this infusion, this is the third infusion, it's coming back a little bit more to the... I keep calling that poor taste. A shen, a shen puar note though. Note, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's a, a little bit more floral. Again, it's just a... You know, when you tune the, the sound, it's just a one knob, that kind of gentle. Yeah. Up. Yeah. It's not a, a huge difference, but you 
can definitely sense the difference. Yeah, yeah. You have to think floral in the context mm. of a shem who are floral. You can't borrow from a, a from a green tea or it's a not, fen huang yeah. den song floral. That's not going to work here. This is in that context. And um, again, nudging towards a, a shem who are like you can you can definitely get that, but it still has that super unique. Mm. Um, savoriness mm. that is just really, it's, I'm smitten with this tea. I right? think this is, uh, I was well, going to say, I, th I think this is going to become a daily tea for me, but then I remember it's 2004. <laughs> it's not going to be a daily tea, but it's going to be something I come back to. This is really yeah. fun. Oh, and I found uh, uh, when I like a sip it, slurp it in the very, uh, say oolong way, like a little bit, a little bit with high mm. temperature, I didn't sense much of that tartness. But mm. uh, when the temperature allows and you have a good chug in the mouth, I found that and hold it for a bit. Mm -hmm. I found that somehow mm. provokes that uh, mm -hmm. tartness that I personally love a lot because it's not uh, mm. like a, it's not vinegar. It's not an orange, like none of those kind of acid turners. It's a sensational turners. Mm -hmm. I often mm -hmm. talk about it. in a lot of tea, you could have that sensation at the back of the the side of back my bottom tongue. on the side tongue. Yeah, yeah. like a really mm -hmm. deep kind of a turners sensation. Really silky too. Mm -hmm. I wanted to say about the. Um, geez, what did I want to say? There was definitely something I wanted to say. Anyway. <laughs> I, I have soapy, that too. I right? have that too. Like a, I just want to sit here and just having that, and I don't even try. My brain is pretty much empty. I have to say, I have to really focus on. Okay, let's. Uh, mm. It's about the chug. I uh, wanted to let people know that if they're wondering, oh, is that an appropriate way for puar? Definitely a nice big mouthful is yes. completely appropriate yes. and a decent way to. Yeah tease out the uh, mouthfeel yeah. of your puar. Yeah, a different tea has different ways of mm. drinking, right? The oolong, you want that a little slurp to do those. Puar is about body. That's mm. why old times body. it's just uh, throw that in a mug or jar and a brew and drink. And uh, that's not a bad way to drink. I always say that. Like you don't have to do the Gong Fu. You do a, uh, just a throw that in the teapot, traditional Western mm. style to drink uh, puar. It's a fantastic way yeah. and it really Gave you that uh, the poor mm. style. Mm -hmm. Oh, really uh, silky, almost velvety. It's so thick, it has a little bit more. Um, yeah. Oh, mm. oh, that's really good. Mm. Oh, boy. Jeez, I, I even think a bit of that medicinal element is in the flavor too now. A little bit of that shen. Oh. A hint for me, not overly. Like when you didn't say it, I didn't sense it, but you said it, I'm like, ah, oh, that's what company that uh, little. <sighs> and it leaves the <laughs> really mouth. Hard, yeah. I really like how the flavor lingers in the mouth. This is mm. a really, uh, a really long lingering tea. Uh, right from the first infusion and still, uh, the flavor has real staying power. Mm hmm. Very pleasant. Mm. And the, the return suite for me is quite strong. Mm. Like everything changes to that pleasant, mm. mouth watering sweetness yeah. of thing. That's where that refreshingness comes and yeah. it's still coming on strong. This is going to have uh, great endurance. We're going to get many infusions mm. out of this, I, I'm anticipating. All right, so this tea has been amazing. We're gonna get a lot more infusions out of it. So uh, we're gonna wrap up the video here. Um, if you've made it this far, way to go. And you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. <laughs> and it's a, when the tea is good, it's really hard on our brain to focus really on this. On it's really enjoyed in the moment. I just wanna get back to um, the tea. Yes, if you want to check out the final uh, descriptions or even try to see for yourself, don't forget to go to our website. The link will be Yeah, down you want to grab some of this tea. Yeah. Don't miss out. This is a, wow, this is a nice one. I'm glad we choose that for today. It's yes. uh, fantastic. Um, All right, folks. Well, until next time. Keep steeping. Keep steeping.